Sheikh Tusi Persian, Sheikh Twisi full name Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Hassan Tusi Persian, Abu Jafar Mehmd bn Hsn Twisi known as Sheikh al-Ta'ifa Arabic, Sheikh al taft was a prominent Persian scholar of the Twelver school of Shia Islam. He became known as Sheikh of the sect Sheikh al-Ta'ifa. Authored two of the four main Shi'i books of Hadith, Tadib al-Akam and al-Istibsar, and is believed to have founded the Hazza. He also counts as the founder of Shia jurisprudence. Life He was born in Tus in Iran in 995 AD, 385. In 1018 AD, 408 AH. His life was along with the government of Bayad dynasty. He was born according to praying of 12th Imam of Shia namely Mahdi He learned significant level of Islamic sciences of that period in Tus in Khorasan, he left Tus to study in Baghdad. In 1055 AD, 447 A.H. Turul Bek entered Baghdad, there he could participate in the courses of Shaykh al-Mufid as paramount teacher. Also he wrote some of his books when he was between 20 and 30. When he was 42 he participated in the class of his master namely Sheikh Mortaza. Indeed he also attended the scholarly circle of Sunni scholars and studied Shafi fiqh. At this time many Muslim scholars in Baghdad, both Sunni and Shiite were killed. The house of al-Sheikh al-Tusi was burnt down, as were his books and the works he had written in Baghdad, together with important libraries of Shiite books. Al-Tusi went to al-Najaf after the fall of Baghdad. He died at Najaf on the 22nd of Muharram in the year 460 AH, the 2nd of December 1067. Topic: <inaudible> Influence. Tusi had important role in formation and revival of Shia jurisprudence and law, since that his time was coincidence with the burning of the great books and library. Nearly, he must to revive the hadith and jurisprudence in a way. He innovated in the sphere of jurisprudence. He tried to defend the application of jurisprudence in respect of religious laws. One of his accomplishments was that he could be successful in propagation and coherence of methodologies of argumentation and inference. His dominance was unrivaled until long time. Nearly all jurisprudence only were affected by Sheikh Tusi's opinions. The influence of Sheikh Tusi continued until the emergence of Ibn Idris Hili who criticized some views odd Sheikh Tusi. Also Tusi had given to Sheikh Mufid a definite formulation in Ijihad. In fact three people including Sheikh Tusi had important role in leadership of Shia school of law. Some works of Tusi shows that he was influenced by precedent jurists like Salar Daylami. Topic. Usuli school In confliction between two schools of Akbari and Usuli, Sheikh Tusi defended of Usuli school and calls Akbari as followers of literate or literalists. Sheikh Tusi believed in principles of jurisprudence as a fundamental knowledge in acquiring the judgments of Islam religion. He wrote in introduction of al Ida book as follow. Thus you may say, it is essential to attach the greatest importance to this branch of knowledge namely usul, because the whole of sharia is based on it and the knowledge of the any aspect thereof is not complete without mastering the principles. Also he tries to compare different schools of law in Islam with each other and show there is a little divergence between them and they are near to each other and differences among them as in minor subject not major. Sheikh Tusi, like his masters, refuted the legal analogy in his manual of Usul Fiqh. Topic. Importance of reason His emphasis was on the rational dimension of religion such a way that he know principles like commanding to good and prohibiting of evil as something which is indispensable according to reason. Even Sheikh Tusi tried to give validity to consensus IJMA according to rational rule of LUTF, according to principle of LUTF, God must provide believers with conditions and situation for doing religious acts and nearing to good. Principle of LUTF requires the appointment of infallible imam and necessitates that the imam reveals the truth about any problem on which a wrong agreement may have been reached. Topic. Pioneering. 
Tusi was leading in different majors of religious sciences such as Ilm Rigil biography, traditions hadiths, and Firist catalog. He also starts important developments in that allow Shia clerics to comprehend some of the roles permitted before only for imam. These roles are to collecting and distributing the religious taxes and organizing the Friday prayers. Najaf <inaudible> <inaudible> Seminary <inaudible> <inaudible> According to some scholars, Sheikh Tusi established the Haza of Najaf after migrating from Baghdad. Works <laughs> He wrote nearly over fifty works in different Islamic branch of knowledge such as philosophy, hadith, theology, biography, historiography, exegesis and tradition. Of the four authoritative resources of the Shiites, two are written by Sheikh Tusi. These two basic reference books are, Tadib al-Akam and al-Istibsar. Both of these pertain to hadiths of Islamic jurisprudential decrees and injunctions. Al-Nihaya Al-Tibiyan fi tafsir al-Quran Al-Istibsar in four volumes Tadib al-Osul in two volumes Audit al-Osul This book provide us with advantage information about development of Osul science and this knowledge between Sunnis. Al Fatawa, Al Mabsit, Al Iktisad al Hadi ila Tariq al Rashad, Al Gaiba, Ektiar Marifat al Rijal in the science of Rijal. Al Khilaf This book is one of the first books in the sphere of comparative jurisprudence written by Tusi. He tries to collect all opinions of law schools of Islam in this book. This book also shows that there is great accordance between Shia school of law and other schools. The differences exist merely in minor problem, namely Faru. This book, as a compendium, not only rendered those opinions which Shia hold uniquely but also the conflicting Sunni opinions in much greater detail. See also Shia Islam, Jafari jurisprudence the Four Books Holiest Sites in Islam Sayyid Murtada Sheikh al-Mufid Sheikh al-Saduq Muhammad al-Kulaini Allama Majlisi Sheikh al-Hur al-Amili Sheikh Nasir ad-Din Tusi References External links Sheikh Tusi